What is crack -a and everyone? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another reaction. And it's another reaction cons uh, concerning like trailer from last week. There was Gamescon. There were like so many trailers that were coming out. CinemaCon. So this time it's the Death Stranding preview trailer. So this is like a, what almost nine minutes of uh, literally gameplay. Uh, we've done the teaser for the PS5 upgrade. I've done the uh, the actual pre-order trailer that they did, and they kind of showed the what their upgrades were. But I believe this one is like a full-on gameplay with all the different things uh, that they're adding. So yeah, let's get to this. There are now oh, yeah. new items that allow for easier and safe delivery. They One of the new items more? is the Evolve Stabilizers, so. which features thrusters that help reduce the impact of landing when jumping oh, from higher God. areas. <laughs> the Cargo Catapult is a cannon-like device that can launch your cargo over long distances. Enabling you to develop even more creative ways to deliver your cargo safely and more efficiently. I don't know, I know you should have more faith in yourself. I love this. We had that before. Your trusted partner, the Buddy Bot, has increased capabilities also. If you want to move around comfortably while carrying more cargo, you can rely on BuddyBot to assist you. Really Load up what you want to deliver like, and leave the cargo the carrying to your buddy. You can relax and think about what you need for the next delivery. Okay. Yeah, like that. The drone had that ability earlier where you can sit on the drone and we need some elements and stuff for it, but you can make that happen. The firing range has been set up in the basement of the facilities. Practicing how to handle your weapons could level up your delivery skill set. Okay. You can also train and compete for the highest score. As you progress through the game, you'll also be able to unlock new missions and weapons. The Mazer Gun is one of the new weapons that will be introduced. It has a few different functions. It can inflict sustained stun damage to enemies. Boss battles can now be revisited and fought as many times as you like via your private room.
Your scores will be shared in the all-new online ranking system, allowing you to compete with players from around the globe. Uh, there comes the rankings and all. It, yeah, it's basically Eight like, new tracks uh, have been story, added in the music player. You, just have all these extra you can listen to the tracks in the private room. Like this world. It will help you and Sam relax after a long day of travel. I gotta admit though, the room thing was cool. Take the shower, get ready, all that. Here we go. Okay. Some horror kind of elements to it. Okay. New action pack delivery missions have been added. What truth will Sam unfold in the mysterious facility? We've also added jump ramps, enabling you to jump over valleys and crevices with ease. You can even do tricks. There is a new racetrack. You can time attack with other SAM players from all around the world who are connected online in the ranking. To be honest i love the teaser and this is more of an extension to what we saw in the pre-order trailer the reaction i did i said a few similar things that i actually said now and now it confirms a lot of it is useful a lot of it is not useful at all i mean it's there for the sake of being there and i understand that and i respect that you know people I'm only speaking from my behalf. Uh, I understand like the firing range, a lot of those tricks and everything do add 
to the longevity of the game itself. Because if you have done and if you're trying to find things, going through the world, which it's a beautiful world, there is a lot of land, there's ways you can traverse. That's the whole game is like how you traverse, how you find your way. And that is an interesting aspect. And I love the game for it. It's its, its own kind of a game. But I also like to have things that make sense with the story you're telling and the characters that are involved. The racing and doing tricks is not the thing that a character or the story demands. Uh, now, jumping with the bike that far, that helps because that actually makes your delivery route better. You can get somewhere faster. A lot of the elements that they're adding, uh, how to traverse and you know carry more cargo, all of that actually makes sense because that's the game. But then doing tricks in the sky, it's there for the fun of it. I mean, obviously to take pictures and stuff and you can take screenshots and post. It's mainly for that. But I'm I'm that person is like, I know a lot of people like it and I, I completely get, again, me, I, I don't, I, I don't, it doesn't interest me. Unless if the game is, you know, the story or the characters call for that. And if it makes sense, then I'm all for it. You know, like let's say if a, need for speed game or an open world game like that and there are many out there that have open world and you can do tricks and you know jump through stuff and jump through billboards and stuff like that okay fine because that's the game uh in this one it's just like hey there's like things that are out there that can kill me but I'm, hey, let's do a trick in the air because that'd be awesome and it, again it, even if you know it's a happy moment for the character at the same time it's like that character though is not that person and if you if you played the story you know what sam what the character is and the journey that he's on uh, it's, it's it doesn't call for that so some of the elements again they're there i understand for fun as far as like the whole package and the whole upgrade it is 50 50. i mean playing it from what they're showing, there's one more mission and it's more like, you know, adding things in gameplay and gameplay mechanics and more things in terms of like how you do your deliveries and all. But as far as like a director's cut, so it is not a director cut. You can now tell why Kojima has been saying that it's not really a director's cut, but I guess there's no other way they can probably put it. It's not a remake and, you know, integrate and, you know, like how Final Fantasy kind of found a very very like unique name to say like it's an upgrade uh it's i would have just be fine if it's a death stranding they would have called it an upgrade because it does feel more an upgrade than a director's cut it's not like they're adding like a lot more to the story or like all these cut scenes or you know behind the scenes that they kind of like left out they added those and they were like okay now there's an extra like two three hours of story that we left out in the original game because you know we didn't really didn't found find that like entertaining or it was like it was like redundant like you've seen that before in the story earlier in the game or later in the game and it's just kind of doing the same thing then i would be like it's a director's cut but yeah this is more like a like an extension of the original game just adding a few more things and maybe a mission here and though just to kind of give that extra boom to the story but it's mainly you know if your people are still playing this game they have all these more like tools and stuff to use uh around the world in the game. So that's kind of my take. I think some of it is useful, some of it, it's not. It's kind of a 50-50 upgrade, at least what it looks like. Let's see when they actually like bring it out and people find all these new things, then we'll really see uh, what the game is really about. So that's my take on it. What do you all think about this? <laughs> Go at me if you love this game. I'm not trying to, you know, crash on it and be like that because I do love the game telling you right now i love this game it's one of the best games i've ever played but i just don't think this uh director cut is really a director's cut which he said before but some of the things also are not useful so yeah leave a comment below let me know and other than that i want to say thank you for watching thanks for all the support if you like this reaction there are a whole lot of others on the channel please go have me watch and yeah take it easy take care and i will catch you all soon until then ta-ta take care Oh